Well, let's talk a little bit about studying in France and what makes this place so damn special. You know, going back some years, and it's still got a bit of that reputation, people would say, oh, you know, the French people, they don't like tourists, they're not very friendly. And honestly, nothing could be further from the truth. Coming to France is just such a wonderful experience. You know, one of the things that I found over the years is that um, the French actually speak great English, if that's the only language that you've got. Um, and getting around here in English is actually really easy. It's just that the French people tend to be a little bit that's about, a bit self-conscious about their accents. You know, we love the French accent. I love the French accent. I think it's amazing. Um, but they're actually self-conscious about it. And the first thing when you say, oh, do you speak any English? Is they'll say, oh, my English is, um, is terrible. <laughs> and in fact, their English is absolutely fine. So getting around this country is, is incredibly easy. You know, yes, you can fly, but the trains are amazing. The metro here in Paris is absolutely first rate. So for you to get from place to place is, um, is completely easy. But what about studying? So the great thing about France is that there are now heaps of different options in terms of uh, the different types of studies that you can do here. Of course, if you want to go and do a language program, um, there are tons and tons of different language schools, um, both here in Paris and around the country. Some of the best uh, language schools in France are actually outside of Paris. Some of the ones where um, the people who teach French to um, foreigners all around the world go and do their training in the middle of the country, places like Vichy, uh, great places to go and study. But if you don't just want to come here to learn the language, you don't have to necessarily speak French. One of the wonderful things that's available now, and increasingly so, um, is the availability of uh, English taught programs. Now this is particularly at master's level, but it's also things like summer and winter schools. So summer here runs essentially from June through until August. Um, you'll find here in, in Paris that, or particularly in Paris, but all, all over France, things really close down over the summertime. The French take their holidays incredibly serious. I'll check this out. It's just like hawkers. So when you're around here at the Eiffel Tower, there's just hawkers everywhere, it's amazing. The French do take their holidays very seriously, so if you want to try and get something done during the summertime, just forget about it, like so much stuff is closed. But the universities here, they do have summer schools, English language stuff, so you do have plenty of options in terms of taking courses taught in English. Outside of that, um, you do need to have a pretty good level of French if you want to come and study here like on exchange or do a full semester. Um, but for those of you who are doing a language program, if you are already through your second year, you're going to get thrown in the deep end a little bit if you're coming in the third year and you've never studied French before, but it is going to be the most amazing thing for your French to come and spend some time here. You know, come and do um, one month and your French will be absolutely mind-bogglingly good. And that's what you want to be studying a language for, is to get good at it. And that's why you should come and study here in France. It's not all about Paris. Um, one of the things I adore about France is that just how much diversity in this country. You know, in Australia, when we want to go and see something new, we've got to get on a plane and fly somewhere. You know, it's literally a thousand kilometers. The scenery um, changes quite a bit, but it's nothing like in France. Here, you get in a car, you drive for one hour, and you can be in the mountains or by the lake, or by, by the lakes or by the sea. And along with that change in this incredible, um, um, landscape is the change in the food. Every region has its specialties, not just in terms of dishes, but in terms of cheeses and meats and foods and everything, pastries. Every region has its own speciality. And that's just one of the things that makes it such a great place to come and study. Because all of those spare weekends, you jump on a train, you um, get amazing discounts as students too. The French are incredibly generous in terms of giving subsidies to students. So it's not too expensive for you to get on a train, go somewhere for a weekend and really see something which is just completely new and different. And of course, Paris is right on the doorstep of the rest of Europe. So from here in Paris, you can jump out and you can get to pretty much anywhere in Europe, either on the buses or on the trains. It's super easy. Such an amazing place to come and study. A place very dear to my heart. You can see sun going down here. Eiffel Tower, tourists absolutely everywhere. They're here for a reason. It is one of the most spectacular places on earth. And if you do decide to come and study here, you won't be disappointed. I'm Rob from Global Society. I will catch you next time. Take care.